drive along an ocean reflecting the sun Or make a bed of green atop a wide open sea Under a canvas of blue I would draw ever nearer to you Begin for summer is for falling in love. It's really hard to hear my voice in this clip, but basically we're gonna rest for a little bit and then go out and have some fun. So after having a giant hot pot breakfast with seafood like octopus, buttered shrimp, squid, we all went swimming for about two to three hours. The water was warm and salty and the sand was really white. I still can't believe how pretty it was here. Soon after, my sister and I buried my cousin in sand, in the pictures here as you see. And then after, we we're off to visit the temple. Look at my beautiful dress. What Sarah just called a dress is actually a skirt to cover the jean shorts I was wearing because at Buddhist temples you have to dress modestly. It's really hot, but we came here to pray. And that concludes day one in Fu Wook, which we ended off at a really nice restaurant with the best food I've had this whole tour. The seafood here in Fuwuk is super good and I totally recommend if you come here. On the second floor of our hotel was a all you restaurant which we spent every morning here eating breakfast together. This place was super nice and the food was pretty good too. No. It's raining super bad, um, and we're at the zoo right now. And I think we're gonna go walk around and still tour it. We had plans to go swimming, but I don't think we're gonna do that anymore. I wore a pretty dress that got covered by a garbage bag. Oh my god. Yanua. Yes. Yanua. Oh. 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 Sadly, I couldn't record much of the scenery because it was really nice, but we were kind of late and we had to rush to get on this bus to get a really nice tour of the place. Then we took a stop at this little place to eat and buy food and interact and feed giraffes. After the safari and lunch, we headed to Vin Wonders, the largest theme park in Vietnam. It's rated the top amusement park in the country, and I was really excited to go on their carnival and water slides and explore the whole place. Wow. 
The first thing you see once you enter is this really nice medieval little town with a lot of shops lined up on both sides. There's like bubble tea shops, cafes, souvenir shops, and then this really pretty castle which we get to see later because there's gonna be a show to watch. Holy shit, it's really big. After touring the aquarium for about an hour and a half, we were all so very exhausted from walking so much. The walk to the aquarium was already long enough, but of course, we had to try the water slides and get some swimming in. There were so many water slides to go on, the water slides were so much fun. This was definitely my favorite part of the day. So we just finished swimming, and now we're going to watch a show that starts at 7 o'clock. minutes, the palace of dreams will come alive with the power of your imagination. Two thousand years later. It's hot. After the show, we had dinner and a stroll in the city, which was super pretty at night, and the show was incredible. The special effects were super cool, like the lights and like the water work, especially the fire. The fire was so cool. It was really hot, actually, and that's why you could hear us screaming so much. Like, if you're sitting in the first or second row, you could literally feel the fire. Not to mention, the storytelling was really cool, too. Then, our last big water activity for the trip was scuba diving, which I was really scared of because I thought I wouldn't be able to breathe down there, but after getting down, it was super fun and cool to see all the fish and the coral and just to take pictures. But the water side, the water side place was crazy. Like, 100 times bigger and more fun. Um, we have to hop on.
After dinner, we headed back to our hotel to get ready and pack to go home. Honestly, this trip was the best trip I've ever had and the summer was a great 10 out of 10. I definitely recommend going to Fuwuk if you haven't and to go there at least once because I definitely go back again. And lastly, thank you to everyone who came on this trip and made the experience super fun and memorable. This is a summer I'll definitely never forget.